A constitutional amendment in Missouri that would wipe out the state's near total ban on abortion, now set to appear on the ballot this November. While abortion rights organizers in the swing state of Arizona shattered records with more than half a million signatures to get their proposed amendment added. That this initiative has made the ballot. Tonight, Missouri and Arizona joining a growing list of states, all with similar ballot measures that would create a new right to abortion up to the point a fetus can survive at around 24 weeks, something opponents say goes too far. <laughs> This ballot push, the byproduct of the Supreme Court overturning the right to an abortion, allowing each state to pass their own restrictions. Laws now under increasing scrutiny as new data emerges about what's been happening in hospitals. A new analysis of federal records by the AP showing more than 100 pregnant women in medical emergencies like ectopic pregnancies denied care in the ER since Roe was overturned. As doctors tell NBC News, they are navigating vague laws that don't account for medical nuances. There's so much fear and confusion because an ectopic can have a heartbeat. Kylie Thurman had an ectopic pregnancy where an embryo implants in a fallopian tube. And she was initially denied an abortion in Texas, despite the law making an exception for such emergencies. Then it ruptured. I want to have kids and I wanted to keep my fallopian tube, but now it's gone. A piece of my womanhood was taken. She, along with another patient in Texas, are now calling on the Biden administration to investigate. I had to fight like hell <laughs> to get my care, and I still um, didn't get it fast enough. So, Laura, what's the next step for this fight in Texas? Well, there's really a broader fight that's going on, this conflict between federal law that says you have to provide care and these state-level bans. It keeps rearing its head. The Supreme Court didn't actually take up that issue last term, but they now might be forced to resolve it this time, given this Texas issue last term. All right, Laura Jarrett, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.